Good evening, everybody. I have been I am happy to be here, and uh, I've been peeking backstage. We have an amazing second act uh, coming up. I wanted to take just a moment before the real talent arrives to say uh, an incredible thank you to all of you for coming this evening and celebrating. There are a lot of heroes in this room who are fighting every day for a decent world, who are incredibly creative and contributing to moving forward our goal of a sustainable planet. We just heard a remarkable uh, world premiere of changing reality, and that's what we need to do. We do need to change reality to make the world safer, to make the world uh, healthier, and to make the world fit for our children and the coming generation. And I want to thank all of you for contributing to that. I want to thank uh, our remarkable performers. Uh, you'll see them in just a moment. But <laughs> Rebital Hachimov and uh, Udi Shapiro, who you met uh, at, at the beginning of the show also in the wonderful singing and uh, Ronan Shapira, who uh, must be the Gershwin of our time without question. We're watching a, a genius of uh, composition and imagination. And I must tell you, uh, in this uh, rather remarkable and uh, exhausting week of the General Assembly, when so much seems uh, uncertain and turbulent, my overwhelming sense is exactly what I'm feeling this evening as well. We keep seeing the rays of hope bursting through. And even with the harsh talk and the very discordant notes that uh, we hear in the General Assembly and that we hear uh, tonight in uh, some of the compositions, it's uh, what Udi Shapiro said, in the end comes hope. Uh, we saw some beautiful beautiful remarks by some of the world leaders. I want to especially pay tribute to President Moreno of Ecuador, who is the only head of state in a wheelchair. He was uh, attacked and left paralyzed 20 years ago. He's a man of incredible charm. But he said something very moving at uh, the General Assembly uh, he said, you may see me and I'm in a wheelchair and you may say how, how bad or how sad and it's of course not so. Uh, he quoted a Chinese proverb that nothing is so bad or nothing is so good. But he said, I learned when I was standing, I could see uh, across, but when I'm in my wheelchair, I often can see people below, people in need. Uh, people uh, who uh, otherwise might not be seen. And he said, for me, that is a, a gift uh, of life and uh, inspiration. And that's nice to hear from a political leader. Uh, and uh, the wisdom that he conveyed and that many others conveyed in the last two days at the General Assembly truly do give us hope. And the beauty tonight gives us inspiration and joy and energy to continue together. Thank you very much for being here, and now the show continues.
Ah. I've, I've changed attire so you won't confuse between me and uh, Professor Sachs. Um, so uh, in the first half of the concert, we've explored transitions in time and transition among musical cultures. But how about mixing cultures? Uh, for example, a Japanese bathrobe design and a Western musical. How about that? Uh, when it comes to mixing musical cultures, nobody does it better than PDQ Bach, the self-proclaimed only forgotten son of the Bach family, who is actually a New York-based contemporary composer named Peter Schickele. In the following piece, PDQ Bach attempts to mix the most extremely unrelated cultures, bluegrass music and Appalachian American slang on the one hand, with Bach cantata style and the German language. To enjoy it, you must know that Georgia is way over there. And accept, despite all evidence to the contrary, that here, everywhere, your eye can see is Kentucky. <laughs> Enjoy.
ist, wir müssen es abreißen und vom neuen anfangen. Ja. 